today on All for Gun, we're going to be talking about the 45 ACP. And we've got a few different models to choose from here. Jeremy brought a pair of ordnance 1445 LDA. And uh, David here brought two for us to try out a uh, Glock 36 and a Remington R1. And we all had to go with each of them at the range. And now we're back, and uh, we'll just uh, talk about a little bit about each gun. Here we've got the, uh, I believe this is the Para. Yeah. And uh, Jeremy, what do you think about it first? I love this thing. It it uh, it hits very accurate. It's uh, 14 rounds of 45, so that's a pretty just significant about the most weapon. you'll ever need. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. If if you can't get the job done with 14 rounds of 45, yeah. you just you I saw something that said uh, <laughs> 45 ACP because why do I want to shoot twice? Exactly. Then, well, so. with this case, you can shoot 14 times. <laughs> or 14 plus 1, really. Yeah. But the this gun is, is unique because it's... Um, I don't want to point at y'all while I'm doing this, but... It's unloaded. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's got a, it's a double see. stack. It's a double stack magazine, so the magwell's pretty big. The frame's kind of thick. you got to have um, big big hands for it to be yeah, comfortable. Yeah, you have to have some reasonable sized hands. My hands aren't huge, but it's still pretty comfortable to me. Um, what makes it really unique is... What do you call that action? The LDA is light double action. And it's uh, it's like... It basically functions like a Glock in that it's not going to go off unless you squeeze the trigger all the way. But you have a manual safety here. And with this, if the 1911 style grip is not pressed, that hammer's not moving. Yeah, I know that's one thing some people like is the uh, the safety that you can right. you can flip it up once it's got one in the chamber. Right. Yeah. So you can carry cocked and locked just like a regular 1911, but when you take it off, your hammer's still down mm -hmm. against a hammer block, so it can't do anything until you squeeze that trigger. That's right. So it's. It's really a, 
a single action, double action. Yeah, it's right. it's kind of strange. It's a hybrid kind of piece. Well, now, now what did you think it's about different. shooting this gun? I thought this was a most unusual weapon and very accurate. We could all shoot it better than any of the others, probably because of the unusual trigger action. Uh, it it's a to me it's a hybrid between the Glock type of trigger and the uh, 1911 type trigger. Has a long pull, kind of. Uh, yeah, a long pull, and because of the way it works, even though I had not shot this before, uh, you really don't know when it's gonna shoot. <laughs> That's was 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 my experience, and so there's no. Uh, preparation for recoil that might cause you to flinch like you might get with other weapons so I thought that maybe that's why we were all hitting more consistently on our target with this this pistol than than the others uh, and as uh, people with older eyes have trouble seeing the sights I had an awful time trying to see the front sight on this and despite that I was still able to shoot with this gun better than I could with my own. So Now is this one longer than yours? No, it's, is it the same? it's the same barrel length. Oh, okay. Five inch. So, what about the weight? How does that compare? It, it feels heavier than mine. You think that could uh, affect and, the our, all of our accuracies a little bit? It may be. It may Maybe. be. I, uh, Probably I don't not but know. a few ounces difference, but it does seem well, a little fully bit loaded heavier. too, it holds yeah. it'll hold yeah. more. Fully loaded is definitely yeah, that heavier. might be part of why it feels a little heavier uh -huh. but it seems more more front end heavy than than mine that yeah uh, with mine, with no mag in it now it might be right because it's not balanced by the <laughs> right. the weight of the yeah. ammo oh with the mag in a 14 rounds of 45 yeah. hardball is a chunk you get a mm. brick on your hip <laughs> that? right but, not really a but, concealed uh, carry kind of gun unless well, you're a really big guy yeah, a, lot like of people, a lot of people <laughs> my brother can yeah. conceal a yeah. You can see all that though. Yeah. Now, I did. I, I was able to hit the mark better with this gun than any of the other 45s today. Um, the the Glock 45. Yeah, it's shorter barrel. Is, is on the shorter. Glock 36. And uh, the handle on it, the grip, is sh a lot shorter also. Yeah. Yeah. So my big fat fingers hang down more, and I can't get as good a grip on it as I can on this gun. But um, I really like the. It's, it's, it has a pretty smooth trigger pull, but it's kind of funny because it feels to me like when you pull the trigger, it's really, really easy. And most uh, most guns seem to have that real pu easy pull, and then it catches, and you can feel the resistance. This one is real easy, and all of a sudden it goes click, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, and yeah. shoots. But what uh, what grade on the a, a through F would we give this gun? What, what are we talking about for accuracy? I give it an A. No, just overall. Uh, just overall. Accuracy, accuracy, I give it an A. What about you, Dave? Yeah, I, I think I'd have to because yeah. the first time I've fired it, uh, yeah. I can shoot shoot it better than mine. Yeah. yeah, same with you. Yeah. I'd what about uh? Well, no, we haven't really worn it in a holster. Jeremy yeah. has. Yeah, but, a little bit. But, but how did it make your pants feel like they were going to fall off? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I mean overall. I like the look of it. I like the feel. I always, yeah. you know, a lot of people are partial to the 1911 stone, you know, yeah. guns and, and yeah. just the aesthetics of it. Yeah. And I've always really liked that stone. Why don't we look at the 1911? Yeah. We'll go yeah. to the next the 1911 stone. Remington yeah. 1911 R1. Yeah. Yeah. That's the next right piece.